the fast mode. Uh, we are at the IoT Smart City Conference here in KL. And with me today, we have uh, Dr. Slavomir Priyadrik, uh, the CEO of IS Wireless. Okay. So, My pleasure. Uh, yeah, Hello. Nice to have you with us today in this session. My pleasure. And, yep, uh, and we have uh, quite a few questions that we want to ask you okay, regarding 5G you know, and uh, you know, the deployments and trends that we have in this area. So, uh, the first one, okay, is that uh, how does IS Wireless uh, differentiate its open RAN solutions um, from larger telecom offerings and what unique value, okay, do you bring uh, to the market? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, thank you for, uh, for the invitation to this interview. It's a real pleasure uh, to be hosted by you. IS Wireless uh, is a vendor that uh, is actually the only vendor that focuses on extremely efficient use of communication resources, such as spectrum and compute. And by playing this um, unique uh, functionality, we are either uh, providing extreme resilience to the network or um, getting as much as possible of the performance or optimizing the cost that you can trade for the performance. Now, um, many areas in the world are, I would say now, um, in the high need of reliable and resilient solutions. Yes, yes. Um, we all talk about cyber threats, uh, e even kinetic attacks. Yes. There are conflicts all around. So these regions uh, really require um, strong, uh, secure and resilient networks. And that's what our offering brings. Oh, wow. Well, that, that's something there, right? That's, that's okay. And, uh, you know, okay, so moving on from Open RAN, uh, let's go to the other area, 5G, that uh, commands a lot of attention, which is private 5G, right? So when it comes to private 5G, um, what are the main use cases where IS Wireless, um, you know, is uh, slated to have uh, a major presence? And, and the areas that you're focusing yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. So um, these applications, they come directly from the focus, functional focus that I have just described. This functional focus um, is uh, uh, named uh, Liquid RAN, Liquid Radio Access Network. Yes. What, it is what we believe is the next generation of open disaggregated networking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where resources are treated as um, very um scarce elements and that that, that is why they are um, managed very very efficiently now um wherever you require uh, high reliability and resilience this is where liquid radio access network fits. okay all right. so um taking into account uh popular uh, i would say civilian applications this is primarily industry for zero all right, where you okay. have the processes Yes. Um, uh, industrial processes depending on the connectivity um, but this technology is dual use so All you right. may also apply it in defense applications okay. because this is exactly where um, security and, and resilience is of prime importance mm -hmm. and the name liquid red is it's very intriguing right yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, what how, is, how what, does it come yeah, from okay so look um, you can uh, observe that Open run has been like a step from the solid run. Okay. And uh, yes. if you look at how resources were managed and also how software stack was implemented, or implemented then a, a, a solid run is basically uh, like a block of ice okay. uh, that you are putting into a container. Okay. Let it be a, a bowl. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, because it's rigid, yeah. you, you yes, have lots of is. inefficiencies. Yes. Now, Open Run breaks this rigid block into like two, three elements. Yeah, exactly. But Liquid Run behaves like a liquid. So when you put this network functionality into the resources, you don't waste them at all because liquid okay. fills them completely. So oh, that's the I difference. See. That's yes. a step towards 6G, basically. So from monolithic, we break it down in open yeah, exactly. ground and, and, and then, now we compact it further such that there's no empty space. Ab we just absolutely. That's fill the up point. everything. Th that's the point. That's the exactly point. Exactly. The properties of liquid. <laughs> that's the point. Exactly. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so, uh, well, 
given that today we are in uh, Kuala Lumpur in APEC, right? So let's talk a little bit about this region. So we, we, we wanted to know that, uh, you know, how important is this region in uh, IS Wireless um, you know, strategy? Absolutely uh, of high importance. Let's take Kuala Lumpur, for example. This yeah. is a very dense city. Yes. It's very difficult to build a uh, radio access network mm -hmm. using the old paradigm, you know, of building sites, uh, acquiring um, network nodes on the roofs. So you, you need an, an extra level of sharing to be introduced. Plus, um, these networks need to be highly dense. Yeah. And when density comes into action, the resources and, and sharing comes to action, the yes. resources has to be maximized. There is no place for underutilization of resources. So this is exactly where Liquid Run fits perfectly. That, yes. that is why we are looking at this region with Kuala Lumpur being a very ambitious nation mm -hmm. to be like a starting point um, to, to take the journey further. And, and in fact, I think uh, all the other countries in APEC region, especially when you look at costs and efficiencies, right? So you want to have a solution where you maximize yes. you know, whatever resources yeah, and that's that you a have. Exactly. And yeah. that, that's the different attitude towards uh, networking in general. Yes. We yes. don't have a luxury to locate base stations at any point as we wanted yes, yes. Uh, before, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Okay, now uh, looking forward, uh, you know, into the future, um, we, we have 6G in the pipeline, right? So what role um, does IS Wireless aim to play uh, in shaping the next generation of mobile connectivity? We are very heavily rooted in research on, uh, in general, but right now in research on 6G because research and innovation precedes the development of the product and, and then the actual standard. So things are happening right now. And what we are certain is that Liquid Run will be like a bridge uh, okay. connecting 5G and 6G, like a transition. Um, we are proudly a um, member of uh, 6G Future Network Services Program in the Netherlands because okay. we have an office in the Netherlands. And uh, it is exactly the direction that uh, the 6G will take, that uh, it, it requires uh, the new form of networking. Um, if, if you consider additionally AI developments, they really cannot work on the old networking paradigm where you have like non-cooperative OC layers. Okay. You, you need a new form of networking to be manageable by AI, basically. Okay. So one okay. needs the other one. Okay. And that, okay. that will be 6G in, yeah, in the first Yeah, that will be 6G yeah, and, and, and AI is, a, is, is the driver right. of 6G. Right. And then you have a solution that, you know, where AI can easily work with. Absolutely. Okay? Because so you already cater for it. That's that a pathway, pathway right. towards 6G. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So I think, yeah, that basically covers some of the topics that we wanted to talk today. And uh, I think uh, as, as Slavomir, uh, it's uh, really a pleasure to My pleasure. Thank you, you very much. And, you know, hope to, you know, keep in touch and learn yes. more, you know, on you. your initiatives in this space. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview. Okay. okay.